I was in New York City and I heard that Sam Ash had a V piano. So the day before we did the CBS show, morning show, I went to see it and played it and they were nice enough to show it to me and I was pretty impressed with it. I liked the way it felt. So we went to the CBS show where my Fazioli was getting wet in the rain. We asked them to bring an overhang for the band and they failed to put a roof up over our heads. We found out that the dampers were so damp that they wouldn't damp anymore. So the gig was off, there's no gig. And the producer said, well, what can you do? We feel terrible about your piano. And I said, well, there is a piano at Sam Ash that will work. I said, it's the V piano, but uh, I'll have to go get it. So can you guys wait for an hour and I'll be back. I brought it back just in time when they got the roof up they were supposed to put up and the show went on, you know, thanks to Roland. The V piano grand showed up in time for rehearsal. The first reaction with the sound engineer and the guys was, wow, our headphone mix just cleaned up, you know, and that thing really cuts through. So it really provided better communication on stage. Everybody could hear me better. You know, in the rock and roll songs, there it was. It never, ever drifted out of the mix. It'll go as loud as you want it to go. You can jump on it, it'll, you know, you can, you know, it's very responsive. Again, very much like the Jupiter 80, and, if, and it's a human interaction with the engine and the keyboard. I like the feel of it, I like the sound of it, it sounded real. I like the fact that there was a lot of different pianos. And I thought this could be really, really something for the future to think about. 